how to give business unit data access to users so in this uh, lesson I'm going to show you a scenario wherein you've got an existing user it's got a appropriate role assigned but it doesn't have access to the data within that role for a specific business unit so I'm going to take an example uh, let me show you that business scenario let's go to Oracle Fusion instance I'm going to show you that business scenario and then I'm going to um, give you the solution as to how you can go about granting access to a specific business unit data access for a specific user all right so there I am I'm logged in as uh, the project manager Brock Phillips and uh, very recently I have assigned it a role of account payables manager and which I can see it's reflecting over here you see if I go to payables and invoices so that role I can see it's reflecting but what I can't see is access to a specific business unit so if I go to task manager and manage invoices and uh, here if I go to business unit I can't see access to any business unit at all none of the business units are coming in so if I do a blind search there are no business unit access granted to it hence this user is unable to perform anything in relation to a specific business unit so let's say I want to uh, give access to progress US business unit to this particular user which is a, which is linked to this specific role of uh, uh, account payables manager so I can do that there is a way of doing it again basically you've got to go and uh, have access to the super user first and then you've got to go to setup and maintenance and from there you have to look for granting access to this particular specific user uh, to a business unit okay so I'm gonna do that first I'm gonna log out from here like this and I'm going to log in as Tom like this and then here I'm going to navigate to setup and maintenance now just in case if you're new um, to following this particular lesson we are on uh, release uh, 13 of uh, Oracle Fusion Cloud instance and within release 13 we are on version 21b or build 21b within release 13 okay just remember this anyway now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna navigate to um, procurement so from setup I'm gonna look for say something called as procurement and here I will go to search task and here I'm gonna search by something like a business unit like this and hit the search button and here as you could see I have one of the functions here as manage business unit data access for users right so I'm going to click on this particular hyperlink and it, this has fetched this particular uh, number of links and within that the bottom one is the one that we're looking for so once again I'm going to click on manage business unit data access for users and security context you can select a specific uh, uh, security so um, in this case the context is business unit but there are other contexts you can select if you like so, like for example ledger or item organization or inventory organization manufacturing plant or project organization and so on but let this be a business unit related data access and the username is Brock Phillips all right and here I'm gonna hit the search button so you see uh, by default what you can see here is the option button checked users without data access so in this case it is showing me the view wherein blo uh, wherein it is listing out all the roles assigned to this particular user but doesn't have access to a specific business unit so you see this is the role we have assigned account payables uh, manager but this user doesn't have access to a specific business unit right so in in such a case you have to assign access how would you do that so you click on this button authorize data access and what will happen is it's gonna download an 
a macro enabled excel um, data file which uh, is very similar to um, adi in oracle e-business suite um, it is macro enabled so all you have to do is open this excel file let me open it quickly so there you go i have opened it and at the top it has got something called as protected view and what you have to do is in order to see the data you have got to enable the editing so click on enable editing and then it is asking us uh, to log in and uh, to connect to this particular instance so i'm going to hit the yes button here you've got to provide your login information so provide that and then it's going to fetch all the data that we have just viewed it on our screen and as you could see at the bottom there are two tabs one is authorized data access and one is view data access so authorized data access is the place wherein um, it is showing us all the roles this user have been assigned but doesn't have access to a business unit whereas view data access shows the roles for the access this user already have to specific business units so can you see that these roles are already assigned but whereas these this role you've got to assign it so what I'm gonna do is here I'm gonna choose the security context as the business unit name okay so I'm gonna choose the business unit say something starting with progress hit the search button and you see at the bottom you've got progress US business unit I'm gonna hit the OK button and that's it once you're done with that then there is no save button you have to do is use the upload button to upload the data back into the Oracle Fusion Cloud instance so use this particular button like this so it's uploading the data okay so now the data has been uploaded successfully and all you have to do is go back there in uh, the Fusion instance via the browser and requery and you will see the changes in other words you will see access to progress us business unit assigned to brock phillips for the role account tables manager so i'm going to go back to fusion instance now all right so there i am and what i'm going to do is once again i'm going to hit the search button so earlier we were searching users without data access and that's where it's listed out accounts payable manager i'm going to requery with the same view and the third line will be gone you see can you see that and this time you have to change the view uh, and click on the option button users with data access then give the username okay and hit the search button and if you come down you would see once again access over here uh, and this time it is a confirmed access account tables manager and this is what we have done to progress us business unit in the previous step okay but this is not all you have got to counter check it after logging in as brock phillips in the front end so you hit the done button come out of this particular user and i'm going to re-log in as uh, brock phillips so sign out and hit the sign in button and then you navigate via the hamburger menu to tables and then invoices if you recall last time when we saw that this person didn't have access and all these views were showing as zeros but now you see it is fetching the data and showing it because it has got access to only one business unit which is progress us business unit and i believe it is fetching the data from that particular business unit and showing the invoice uh, view so what are the recent invoices all the invoices with holds any prepaid invoices and any past due invoices now i'm going to go to manage invoices so say something like manage invoices within that last time we didn't had a business unit listed over here but this time we should be able to choose one progress us business unit like this and now i can proceed ahead and do my query 
in terms of uh, this particular business unit in relation to my invoices within account payables module so basically this is the procedure wherein you assign a data access to an existing user with a assigned role for a specific business unit